he's always had his finger on the pulse of what middle America actually cares about. Mm -hmm. A slain officer who shouldn't have, who the person who killed him shouldn't have been out. That's something that resonates more than a bunch of celebrities at Radio City Music Hall. I know that everyone here will soon be marching over to the Capitol building to peacefully and patriotically make your voices heard. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much, everybody. I want to thank Bruce and all of the people that have worked so hard to make this area beautiful and safe. And this is what happened is such a sad, sad event, such a horrible thing. And it's happening all too often. And we're just not going to let it happen. We just can't 21 times arrested this thug. And uh, the person in the car with him was arrested many times. And they don't learn because they don't respect they don't, they're not given the respect. The police are the greatest people we have. There's nothing and there's nobody like them. And this should never happen. I just visited with a very beautiful wife that now doesn't have her husband. Stephanie was uh, just incredible. Their child, brand new, beautiful baby, sitting there, innocent as can be, and doesn't know how his life has been changed. But uh, the Diller family will You'll never be the same. You can never be the same. And we have to stop it. We have to stop it. We have to get back to law and order. We have to do a lot of things differently because this is not working. This is happening too often. Uh, it's an honor to be here. And again, I want to just thank all of you folks for uh, allowing this. And Bruce, thank you. Bruce has been a friend of mine for a long time. He's done an incredible job out here. But uh, this is such a sad occasion. Uh, the only thing we can say is maybe something is going to be learned. We've got to toughen it up. We've got to strengthen it up. This should never be allowed. Things like this shouldn't take place and to take place so often. So thank you all for being here. It's an honor, and it's an honor for me to be here. This is a great family, the Diller family. I met the friends, and I met every one of them inside. And these are just incredible people that are just devastated. They're devastated. They've got a tough road. It's going to be a very tough road. So thank you very much, everybody. Appreciate it. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you very much. I just want to say, I just want to say thank you to President Trump uh, for coming here to be with the Diller family. It was very comforting for them. It was very warm inside, and uh, people were very, very, um, they were very blessed to have someone like President Trump who cared so much, spent a lot of time with the family, and was, uh, again, a tremendous comfort to the family and probably the most difficult time this family's ever had. May God bless Stephanie. Ryan, we are going to help raise because he's only one years old and he's going to grow up without a dad, but he's going to have thousands of dads that are going to look after him and uh, to Fran, his mother, and to Jessica, Jennifer and, and Jason, uh, his brother and sister, and the whole family, Aunt Carol, Uncle Jimmy. Uh, our hearts go out to them, and may God bless them, and may God bless America. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. President, you said tough it up. What message did you make to the family? We've got to toughen it up. We've got to have law and order. These things can't happen. We need law and order. It just can't happen. Thank you very much. What changes did you make? Listening to Arlette talk about this star-studded event, where you've got three former Democrat or two former Democratic presidents and Joe Biden all in one room uh, with a bunch of stars showing up, and then in the same at the same time here in New York, Donald Trump is here. He's been invited by the family of that New York police officer who was killed during a traffic stop. All the while, there is a case going on in Georgia involving Trump uh, and the 2020 election. 
when you look at all the things that are happening, how is this being used? Because it always is. Mm -hmm. uh, how are the optics of this being sort of used and spun? I have to say, Donald Trump is getting smarter. This is his third time running now. He knows what he's doing in a way that there's a sophistication that wasn't there. And I do think this works. But you said that the Trump campaign has gotten smarter um, over these years. They've learned lessons from what happened back in, in 2020. They have. They know how to use the. They, they know how to gain media attention. So if you don't have the money there, he can live based on earned media. It's kind of the, the playbook he used in 2016. And I think he does. He's always had his finger on the pulse of what middle America actually cares about. Mm -hmm. A slain officer who shouldn't have, who the person who killed him shouldn't have been out. That's something that resonates more than a bunch of celebrities at Radio City Music Hall. It's not about agenda. It's not about mobilizing people. It's about dialing for corporate dollars. These two parties have sold the U.S. government and the American people to the highest bidders.